Hello everybody, this is Charles and I'm back with another video review, this time for Bandai Super Robot Choco King Zero Raymer! Yes! Um, just got this from iShop to go and uh, let me see, this Chinese wordings, okay, the, it basically it says hardest project, okay, I think it's called Ming Wang, Ming Wang in Chinese means hardest, hits, you know, H-A-D-E-S, Ji Hua is project, so hits project, Zero Raymer! Alright, so uh, without further ado, I'm just going to show you the robot. Ta-da! Zero Rimmer. Now, for my first impression of Zero Rimmer is that he seems to be quite big for SRC robot. I mean, um, I think maybe it's because of the the weave of of the wingspan and everything he gets. You know, uh, that's why it gives the impression that he's big. But he is indeed um, big and. Um, First to note is that uh, he came with the closed fist. I changed them to the open fist, uh, so because um, most of the uh, accessories and weapons data or the attacks data are using a closed uh, closed fist, so that's why I'm so showing the open fist first. And for fans of uh, the uh, this um, anime called uh, King of Brace Galgeiger, you would think and agree with me that his hands, his claw. The hands reminds you of Genesis Galgaiga in his uh, Hell and Heaven pose. Does this remember rem remind you of Genesis Galgaiga? <laughs> wow. No, I, I, the claws are very nice and it's really anime accurate. No? I, I, mean, I never know anything much about this anime to be honest. I only did a check on YouTube earlier on and I can see that he has very powerful attacks uh, which I'll go through in details. Uh, but and first and foremost, uh, I know the con the the important thing that uh, all of you are curious about is diecast content. In terms of diecast content, I can tell you the top body, everything from the waist upwards is plastic, totally plastic. The only diecast content you have is this elbow joint over here. This is diecast, and uh, the skirts, everything are, are plastic. But the moving downwards, I am very sure. Okay, I'm pretty sure. In fact that this whole leg assembly, this thigh, the whole leg, uh, minus uh, the whole leg and the toes, alright, maybe not the toes, the whole leg, let me just see the toes, okay, the toes are not die cast, okay, but inside the toes, the metal part inside the toes are die cast, uh, this red part is not die cast, but apart from that, this whole leg is die cast, oh, this white part is not die cast, but the whole leg itself is die cast, yeah, this whole leg is like so there's quite a bit of uh, metal feel to it and he's really really sturdy in terms of articulation his head okay oops how about his head um, we do get this a spare piece of this this is plastic but we do get spare piece of this made of uh, rubber uh, kudos to Bandai he always, they're always thoughtful in giving us a spare piece uh, in, in case we break ours or in case we do not wish to risk breaking ours um, this piece has quite a bit of fabric of sharp edges mainly here these are plastic so please be careful because once you break them that's it would I prefer them to be made of uh, rubber the answer is no I would not prefer them to be made of rubber because rubber will warp so I like them to be made of plastic stays this way but just be careful in case you break them so head wise uh, limited head rotation but if you pull the head upwards Okay, you'll be given additional neck rotation, uh, neck articulation that allows you the zero -ma, zero, zero rimer. Okay, look further much uh, in other directions. So yeah, just gonna keep it here for a while. Um, his chest parts, this actually are movable on their own. Okay, and his arms are movable on their own. Shoulders wise, you can lift him up this much. Rather, let me just turn this. You can lift him up this much. It's quite a lot, okay, in fact. Uh, in terms of elbow articulation, he has upwards motion, okay, but he also has side elbow articulation, okay. So, if you were to turn this 90 degrees back, turn this 90 degrees front, and if you were to lift it this way, you have a lot of articulation. You can bend the elbows a lot, alright. This is really, really cool. There's a lot of points of articulation. I, I love it. Uh, wrist wise you have this piece and the wrist freely mobile he has a freely mo ball jointed um, torso okay side skirts can move up uh, back skirts can actually move to the back as well 
this much. Uh, front skirts, there's too many front skirts, they actually move just a little bit much and if you think that might give you allowance or clearance to move your legs forward, no. This is as much as you can move the legs. You can't move them because it is blocked by this piece. This design, this piece here blocks. Okay, the only way you can move it forward more is to turn this backwards, move it further up. Okay, and move it this way. This is as this is how you can increase the articulation for the thighs. Okay, you can raise the heart, the thighs up by the sides this much. It's quite a lot. Uh, knees wise, double jointed as per most SRC these days. Feet. Uh, ankle you can move them this much, the feet you can move it down, you can move it back, right, slightly, uh, back feet you can't move them at all. So in a nutshell this is the articulation it has for zero rima. Zero, zero rima. This pronunciation, okay I'm not used to pronouncing this word. So in terms of weapons, uh, let me just go through what he has. He has uh, this stand, okay, when by he does his ultimate attack, okay, this word Ten, Tian. In Chinese, it's called Tian. In heaven, it's called Tian, and uh, basically means heaven, sky or heaven. It's supposed to be able to put this piece at the back. It's supposed to be a backdrop for zero rama, uh, which I'm not going to do it in this review. Just going to be aside. Um, comes with um, okay. Let me just go to his fist. So it comes with uh, additional weapons. Is for his fist, but first let me just change this claw hand. First, you just pluck it out. All right. Uh, you remove this. Okay. You just pull the whole piece out. Okay. And uh, I'm also do some comparison for you first. For this yellow piece, you notice that this uh, section, this transparent yellow part, is flat. Whereas for this other one, it is raised up. So basically, this raised up one is for for use when you want to do is um, ultimate attack. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to use the normal one. I'm um, just going to put this aside first. And uh, right now, I have his. Um, I'm just going to change to his first. Okay, his um, right first. So you put this, but before that, you need to put the cover back. Alright. So basically, just slot it inside and then just close it. And you have uh, zero remus, um power punch okay you just fit okay fit in zero minus power punch okay there you go power punch okay he doesn't call it a power punch I don't know what his attack is called uh, but this is yeah basically his attack Ooh, it's really quite impressive in fact yeah it's really a good effect part that you have over here power punch Ooh, I like how he looks on camera right now Really, really cool. All right, so uh, that's enough for the punch. Get it out. Whoops. Oh, this joint comes out pretty easily, but no, it's not not big deal to me. It's not um, not something that will make me dislike the piece. So anyway, taking this out, take out the punch. Um, I'm gonna do his trademark per, uh, attack. So you need to put this back first, and for this. Put it here. So actually, this word, this ten word, is actually attached to this yellow piece. But you know, you can actually just take it out. Yeah, just put it back in. So over here, just put it back to the first first. Okay, put it back to his hand, and the other hand might as well just pull out the whole elbow. Let's pull out the first. It's much easier to do it. Okay, I'm gonna remove this. Okay, I'm gonna put it, put the clawy hands, uh, clawy hands aside. I'm gonna put this piece, and I'm going to take one of this. So my camera doesn't really show it, but there's a small, smaller tab over here that actually fits into one of the two smaller holes uh, in Zero Rima's hands. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna try to find and align it and put it in. All right, cool. Wow, I did it. Now I just spend more time to do it off the video just now but it seems that it's easier for me to do it now. So here it's gonna put it in and I'm going to do his uh, trademark attack which I have to raise his hands upwards okay and I have to raise it to such an angle. I'm just looking at the instructions right now. Um, 
not really familiar how to do it. Ah, okay, the crest fell down, but it's okay. I'm just gonna leave it, leave it down for the time being. Well, I adjust myself to get this pose. Okay, this is cool. Okay, I'm gonna let this go here first. Move this here. Adjust it. Oh, actually, I'm having a quite a good time. I'm having fun doing this right now. Wow. Okay. So I'm gonna put his uh, con back. Horn. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I like to align them to be a little bit more symmetrical. Okay, good. And I'm gonna put this back here. Ten. And there we have it. Yep. Whew. Quite nice. Wow, 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 wow. Just raise the the back portion higher uh, so it looks more balanced cool this is Zeoremus Ultimate Attack 10 you know it's a transparent uh, plastic red um, very very nice in my opinion it's very nice I like the transparent red it's really really very cool really very cool and this is where he launches his ultimate attack and yeah I think whatever's around him just gets vaporized yeah the word is vaporized so uh, if you do not wish to show this, I mean prelude, I mean before he shows this ten word, um, he has this other option hand which is put in. Uh, this is the one. Yeah, I'm just gonna get the other one. So this is the elevated yellow piece. So basically, I think this yellow piece becomes bigger when he starts to activate his at his attack. Um, just gonna fit this in here. Well, get it in, fit it in here, and I think he has another attack whereby he really pushes his um, his fist together. I'm just gonna look at the instructions right now. Yeah. Um, okay. Wow. Okay. Cool. Yep. So he places ops together. Oh yeah, that's the correct word for this. His yellow ops. So he places them together high on his head. No. And uh, what I've seen in some video clips on uh, YouTube, this power, this attack is really powerful. It's like it destroys everything within a particular radius. It's like wow. It's like really crazy, massive power attack. No wonder it's called the Hates Project. Yep. So this is cool. You know, I, I, I think this piece is really, really cool. I, I love the articulation you have with this piece. I mean, uh, the upper body articulation is really, really wonderful. And you know, for such a robot, you want to display in a very, very dynamic pose. You really want to display in a dynamic pose rather than just a very simple or rather very conservative pose. You want him to do something big, you know, something like this. It's really, really cool. Yeah, you want to do him some, you want him to do something like this. This is really really cool. I love it. I really love it. You know, despite the fact that I'm not a fan or rather I'm not familiar with this animation, I love the robot. I love what I'm doing. Uh, ha I'm playing with right now. Uh, it's really a lot of fun factor for me. It's really really cool. Yep, kudos to Bandai for that. So here's Charles uh, signing off with yet another Chokokin review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, so if you want to get this piece, do visit iShop to go. They have this piece on sale in their website. So uh, do check out the link in my description. So yes. Um, so here's Charles signing off with yet another Chokokin review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time.